Hi. I started cutting hair a long time ago, end of the 70s, beginning of the 80s. And I got taught to cut hair with a, a lot of attention to detail, a lot of focus, a lot of discipline, to make sure that I learnt the, the right way of doing things. And I'm eternally grateful for that training and that education. And I think that as an industry, we're pretty good at that. I think we're pretty good at, at teaching our people the skills that are needed to be successful and the technical and creative aspects of being a competent hairdresser. However, there's another side that I don't think we spend nearly enough time teaching people. And that's the side that involves communication. I don't think we teach people how to communicate well as individuals. We don't teach them how to communicate with their team. We don't teach them how to communicate with each other. And so much of your success in life, not just in business, relies on effective communication. I have an expression I use in my seminars. It's this. It's that most problems are caused by communication. And most problems are solved by communication. But to solve those problems, you have to communicate. And communication is very much a two-way thing. It's about two different parties, at least two different parties, that are engaged in communicating with each other. And yeah, they use things like the written word, the spoken word, you know, photographs. These days we have digital media as well to communicate with. We have SMS, we have a whole array of social media, we have emails. And yes, we've still got the written word with the, the manuals that we write, the policy procedure manuals, all these things, you know, that are still designed or effectively designed to communicate what's in our head with other people. See, if we don't have these systems to communicate with people, we're assuming that they understand what we want, that they understand what our needs are, that they understand what our, our standards and expectations are. And that's completely unrealistic to assume that people are effectively mind readers, that they know what you want without you voicing it to them. But communication is very much a two-way thing. It's not just a case of, of you, the individual, whether you're talking about in your professional capacity or in your personal life. Effective communication is about two people that are both engaged in a particular topic. One of them might be communicating something and the other one is giving them feedback. Effective communication is about those two things. So in your salon, with your team, or in your personal life, how good at you are you at communicating? How good at you at receiving communication? How good at you at giving feedback? to the other party, because that's what true communication is. Have a great week. Cheers.